folks in downtown Dayton got quite a shock this morning after a vehicle smashed through the wall of a parking garage and fell from the second story, crashing into the street below. This happened just before 9 a.m. on the corner of North Ludlow and West First Street. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley is live outside where that crash happened. She has some updated information for us. Lauren, we know that the driver of the vehicle that crashed through that parking garage right over there was a woman and is reportedly doing stable at the Miami Valley Hospital. Earlier crews did clear areas of debris, but this morning it was a very different scene. Surveillance footage showing a cloud of smoke as a black SUV falls from the second floor of First Street parking garage to the sidewalk below. The wind fell off a building from a car. It drove off okay, the parking one, garage. Okay, 110 First Street, East First yes. Street. And East First Street. Okay, so the car, what floor was it on? I think, so. um, I think that's the second floor. And it just kept revving and revving and revving. And I thought, well, that's kind of strange. So somebody outside revving their engine. Danelle Watson works across the street. When she heard the noise, Watson immediately looked out the window. And I saw the car on its top, and I thought, oh, my God, the poor person. Fire rescue crews first on scene removed a 53-year-old woman from the wreckage, reporting no one else injured. She said it might be at the salon. And I said no, and so I did kind of my heart kind of start beating. Jane Scott owns the beauty bar next to the parking garage. And once they got around, then she said, oh, there's a car on its hood. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, my God. And she said, it's right at the garage. The same garage Scott and her employees usually park in. She's thankful no one else was injured. With really just this whole year, everything going on, life is just so short. And um, you just never know. Um, I don't know what we can do different. You know, it's just a freak accident. The traffic service unit is investigating the crash and once two news learns more about what exactly caused that car to go through the window you see right over there, we will have more information for you. Live in Dayton, Madeline Ashley, two news working for you.